Hi everyone, welcome back to Channeling Luxury. This is my very first video of 24P. I'm gonna try these pieces on and see what we think. So this is a black top, um, cute little ruffled shoulder, very lightweight. We'll take a look at it. I'm gonna show you the tag and price. Tag, price. And um, as I try them on, I'll let you know what the fabric content is. This one, a little bit rougher fabric, just FYI, lightweight, but, but a little on the rough side. Um, kind of a nice lavender color. Here's the tag and the front. And these are 38 so far. This piece has been shown on a lot of different Instagram accounts, on a lot of Instagram accounts. It's uh, one shoulder with a tie on the other side. And here is the tag and the price and so on. And um, it does have some decent detailing here. Again, when we go to value, is it gonna justify the price? Well, we'll find out, right? Uh, sweater, very oversized boyfriend style, extremely soft. I have to give them that. They did make a very soft piece. It's a little on the long side from what I can see, but we'll give it a shot. Try it on. Um, very cool color. And here's the, here's the detail here. And here's the tag. Both sides. Again, a pricier piece. And a long dress. It's the same fabric as this purple top. Long dress. The only thing I'm, you know, off the top of my head is the feel of the fabric doesn't feel so great, but... It's a midi length. Um, I'm not so sure I'm gonna be into dresses right now with a hobbling foot, but here's the tag and the price. It does come in more colors, by the way. And then here's a little pink dress with a red stripe. They did a lot of pink with red today, or this season, which I thought was a little interesting. And um, I haven't seen that too much from them in the past. And then this is their uh, tag and the front locator information if you're looking for it. So I'm going to try these on. Um, I do have a, a couple of videos that I'll be producing over the next week or so. So keep checking back at my channel uh, for some more 24P or um, pre-spring. All right. Hi, everyone. So this is the first piece. This is mostly polyamide, um, a little bit of polyurethane acetate, but it's like 89% polyamide. So um, you might ask, well, what does that feel like? It feels like a little bit like nylon, um, like you're pair, pulling on a pair of pantyhose. That's what the fabric feels like. Um, I like that you have a tie here, I like it's off the shoulder. Um, you know, I like to see ink, right? I mean, that's just one of my personal things. I know many of you is, ah, no. Uh, but if you don't have it, you're not gonna show it. And then this is what the back looks like. So in terms of where it hits, it's hitting um, right at my belly button. I think you can see that in the mirror right at my belly button. These are my good old pool and bear jeans that I love from Portugal. 30 bucks online, get them, grab them. Um, and yeah, so I think this shirt's cute. It's pretty cool. It's got a nice little, so I can show you here, small detail, so it's not too in your face. And then I'll get up close and you can see the print, the fabric um, that you would have if you purchased this top. So I don't know, for me, the look is a good eight. Um, Wearability is an eight. It's very comfortable, super loose. And even under here where it should be tight, it's not really tight. The value on the other hand, <laughs> three. <laughs> They're just way up there on pricing. Um, and we, we all believe, we all think, we all hear, we all know the handbags are going next. So, but ready to wear definitely increase their pricing again. So it's gonna make it harder to pick up more than a piece or two at, at the most. So Here's the first top. Let me know what you think, uh, what your rating would be on an overall one to 10 scale in the comments and I'll try the next one. All right, the next piece, third piece. This one's 100% cotton. Um, I have to admit I like it a little more than I thought that I would, although this could get annoying pretty fast. I guess I get annoyed by my clothes. I like them to just sit there. Uh, so I'll show you up close what it looks like. You already saw the design, small little pearl accents um, and a little, this is just looks like a patch actually sewn onto the front. I don't really know. And um, it's kind of tight under the arm. This is a 38. It's tight under this arm too. I think it needs to be to hold up the shoulder. Here's what it looks like in the back. Um, so it looks like in the front. Again, it's hitting a little bit longer. So I'm trying to, what I'm having a hard time envisioning in my head and it goes to wearabilities. What am I gonna, what am I gonna wear this with? You know, my, if I tuck this in to my jeans, it's kind of cute. I don't like the big CC on the chest. That's the only thing for me that's kind of off-putting. I wish it just had a cool design and had some CCs over here. Um, other than that, I like the shape of it. I just think that without this, it's probably like a $45 Madewell um, tank. And with this, they're adding $3,000. I don't know, that's just my two cents. So 
I would love to know what you all think. I don't know if I would keep this in my wardrobe or not. I think the look of it is pretty cool, maybe a six. I think the wearability, oh, that's a hard one. Again, I don't really know what I would wear it with, so <laughs> that's more difficult. Maybe it's a five because I'm struggling with it. Maybe it'll pop later and I'll change my mind, but and the value is a two. The price is just too high, so that's my two cents on this piece. Um, now, since I don't really have a different tank to wear, I'm just going to try this sweater on over this particular tank. And then the last two pieces on this first video will be dresses, so I'll get changed for that. So this, this is, by the way, is my first time looking at these pieces. I literally have not seen them until I'm trying them on with you. So, uh, so no surprise. There's a lot of surprises for me too. So I guess one question is, are these functional pockets, right? If they're not functional pockets. That's an automatic zero. Um, are they functional pockets? I don't really know. Usually I can tell pretty quickly. Um, I can't tell. I'd have to ask my essay. That's, that's, that's a hard one. It feels like there's extra fabric, but I'm not entirely sure. So let me just, um, let me back up the camera here a little bit. I back up the camera a little bit so you can see the length of this guy. So, you know, it's, a, it's easy to feel like you're kind of sloppy in this sweater. Uh, at the same time, I like the boyfriend fit, put the hands, assuming you can open the pockets, put the hands in the pockets, just chill. It's a very comfortable fabric and it feels really good. Um, the buttons are cool. I like the buttons a lot. Um, but I need to find out about the pockets. That's, that's actually a deal breaker for me. I know it sounds silly, but for me that is. So I had promised I would tell you what the fabric is and I completely forgot on this one. So I'll struggle here for a minute and see. Um, this one is 69% cotton, 16% cashmere, 14% polyamide and 1% elastanes. That's a tiny bit of stretch to it. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. And yeah, so what this piece looks like, let me show you these buttons up in detail. Up in close detail. Buttons, I think, are the best part of this piece. Here's what the patch looks like, and it is just a patch. A little tiny bit of sequin here. Really hard to justify the price. So for me, the look is pretty boring. I'm going to give it a three. Wearability, if it had the pockets, I would probably wear it. Uh, maybe a six or seven value with the price. Uh, that's a three for me. So here, and here's what it looks like on the back. So it just kind of looks like if it didn't have the Chanel stuff, it just kind of looks like a an old granny t-shirt, sweatshirt, right? <laughs> so a uh, sweater. Not that that's bad, but do we want to spend this kind of money on a granny sweater? That's up to each of us individually. So that's just my thoughts on this piece. Um, now I'm going to try the last two dresses and I'll be wrapped up for video one, but very soon there will be a video two. Like I said, I have not seen these um, until I'm opening them with you. I'm opening them, hanging them, and looking at them at the same time. Um, so we'll check out a few more pieces in different videos and I'll try the last two dresses on. All right, welcome back. So this is my first dress. It's a midi length, comes down to mid calf. Um, this is what it looks like on the back. This is a 38, it's too big for me. You can see here, there's too much extra fabric, but I think if I went smaller, it's gonna be too tight under here. So that's a, a bummer. Um, in terms of like, you know, wearability, I think it's an easy, you know, day to evening dress. I just think that where I am, the long sleeves are going to get old pretty quick. It's the same fabric, by the way, as the purple top that I had tried on. So if you're looking for fabric, that's it. So let me show you up, up close the detail. So it's got the hot pink with black again, right here in the middle. It feels like felt this time. And uh, these are the pockets. Well, not pockets, but plackets, right? Um, I don't know. I'm not like, wow, this is amazing. I mean, it gives the body a nice shape, which is cool, but... Again, it's too big. It's a 38 needs to be a 36. Too much fabric going on here. And, you know, a big question, right, for all of us is, should we, are we even going to wear it? I don't know the answer to that for this dress. So for me, it's, uh, the look on this one is maybe a four. I'm not like, wow, about it. I do like it's a little bit longer. Wearability is pretty high. I think it's a good solid seven and eight. The value, what was the price again? <laughs> What's the price again? $3,000 value is not there. This is a very thin piece of fabric. It doesn't have much design or structure to it. So I think the value is a three. Well, that's my two cents on this piece. You can see what it looks like full length in the mirror behind me. Um, now I'm gonna try on the short dress. It'll be my last piece for this try on. All right, my last piece for this try on um, is this pink. You can see in the, in the mirror behind me, you can see how long it is. It's about six inches above the knee. Um, because I'm stuck in sneakers, God forbid, for the foreseeable year. Um, I don't know if I would wear this, maybe with white ones, perhaps. 
Uh, I can tell you it's super comfortable. It feels like it fits well. I know it's the same fabric as the long one, but because it's not so heavy on the upper upper part, it feels a little bit better. It feels more like the tank version of the purple top that I had tried on. So I think it's cute. I don't, I'm not again blown away by it, right? So if we want to be blown away, and I know many of us are getting to that point, giving the price point, for me, I'm not blown away, but I like it. I'd say the look is a six. Wearability is a good solid six, seven. It's very easy and comfortable to wear. The value, again, the price, five maybe. Depends how many times we're going to wear it out. Um, it's a little Valentine's-ish, right? You don't want to just wear it once or twice a year. <laughs> so uh, so that's my two cents on this piece. Um, I have a few more pieces to try. In another video, you'll see them. I also have a few, well, one like SLG, uh, I'm sorry, one um, accessory in a bag to show you in another video. And uh, yeah, so subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you enjoy the content or tell your family and friends. And um, I'm going to try on some more pieces in another video uh, as soon as I have them here. So have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will be seeing you soon.